below students, today we'll discuss mirror equation, lens equation, and magnification equation. In this lesson, you are expected to determine the quantitative characteristics of images formed by curved mirrors and lenses using the mirror equation, lens equation, and magnification equation. In the previous discussion, we used the graphical method, the ray diagram, to locate and describe the image form in curved mirrors and lenses. Ray diagram is a graphical method that can be used to determine qualitatively the image location, size, and orientation, and type of image form of objects when placed at a given location in front of a mirror or a lens. But it cannot give you the quantitative or the numerical value of the descriptions of the image of the object. In this lesson, we will use the mathematical or analytical method, the mirror and lens equation, and the magnification equation. These equations can be used to determine the quantitative characteristics of images formed by curved mirrors and lenses. In addition, we will compare the image descriptions using the lens or mirror equations and magnification equation with the results in ray diagram. We'll see if there is no discrepancy in the result. The mirror equation relates the object distance, the image distance, and the focal length of the mirror or the lens. In equation, the relationship can be written as 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di, or in some books, they make use of p and q instead of do and di, where f is the focal length of the mirror or lens, DO or P is the object distance or the distance of the object from the mirror or the lens. And DI or Q is the image distance or the distance of the image from the mirror or lens. The magnification relates the ratio of image distance and the object distance to the ratio of the image height and the object height. M is equal to HI over HO equals negative DI over DO, where M is the magnification HI is the image height, HO is the object height or the object size. Note that there is a negative sign before DI over DO. If the magnification is equal to 1, the size of the image is equal to the size of the object. If the magnification is less than 1, the image is smaller than the object. And if the magnification is greater than 1, the image is larger than the object. When using these equations, certain sign conventions must be taken into consideration. In short, we must follow this sign convention. In the first column, listed are the different quantities that we are going to use in, in using the equations. And in the second and third columns are the sign of these quantities for spherical mirrors and lenses. The focal length is used to determine what is the mirror or the lens are used. Positive for concave mirrors and convex lenses, negative for convex mirror and concave lenses. The image distance is used to know the type of the image, positive for real image, for both the core mirrors and lenses, and negative for virtual image or images, both core mirrors and lenses. The image size and magnification are used to determine the orientation of the image positive for upright images, and negative for the inverted images in both the curved mirrors and lenses. Let's work through this first problem together. A convex lens has a focal length of 10 cm. Where will an image form if an object is placed 20 cm from the lens? If an object is 5 cm tall, what will be the height of the image? How far the image is from the lens? What is the magnification of the lens? What is the orientation and type of the image? Draw the ray diagram. First, we identify the given quantities. The focal length is 10 cm, object distance is 20 cm, and the height of the object is 5 cm. The unknown quantities are the image height, the image distance, and the magnification of the lens. Also, we are asked to describe the orientation and the type of the image form. We first solve for the image distance using the lens equation 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di. So 1 over 10 centimeters equals 1 over 20 centimeters plus 1 over di. We derive the equation for di by transposing the 1 over 20 to the other side of the equation. So the equation become 
1 over di equals 1 over 10 centimeters minus 1 over 20 centimeters. Determine the LCD which is 20 centimeters. So 20 divided 10 is 2 times 1 equals 2. And 20 divided 20 is 1 times 1 equals 1. Get the difference of the numerator. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 1 over di equals 1 over 20 centimeters. Cross multiply or flip the equation. di equals 20 centimeters. Next is we calculate for the magnification. The magnification equals negative di over do. di is 20 centimeters divided by do, which is also equal to 20 centimeters. So the magnification equals negative 1. Cancel the unit centimeters. To find for the height of the image, we derive the magnification equation. The image height equals magnification times the height of the object. Negative 1 times 5 centimeters. The height of the image is negative 5 centimeters. We describe the image. The image distance is positive 20 centimeters. Based on the sign convention, if the distance di is positive, the image must be real image. The image height and magnification are both negative, so the image is inverted. The magnification is equal to 1, so the height of the image is the same as the height of the object, which is 5 centimeters. Let's check if this conforms with the ray diagram. The focal length of the lens is 10 centimeters. The distance from the lens optical center to the 2f prime is 20 centimeters. The object distance is 20 centimeters, so it is located at 2f prime of the lens. Based on the ray diagram, when the object is placed at 2f prime, the image should fall at 2f on the other side of the lens. The calculated distance is positive 20, so it is located at 2f real image because 20 centimeters is positive and the height of the image is negative so it is inverted so our answers conform with the ray diagram let's take the second problem joanna places a 10 centimeters tall light bulb 30 centimeters from a concave mirror if the mirror has a radius of 50 centimeters what is the image height and the image distance calculate the magnification of the mirror is the image upright or inverted? Is it real or virtual? Draw the ray diagram. Again, we identify the given. The object height is 10 centimeters, object distance is 30 centimeters, and the radius is 50 centimeters. The focal length is half the length of the radius, so it is equal to 25 centimeters. The required quantities are image height, image distance, and the magnification of the mirror. And we are asked to describe the type and orientation of the image. The same as in number 1, we first find the image distance using mirror equation 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di. 1 over 25 centimeters equals 1 over 30 centimeters plus 1 over di. We derive the equation for di by transposing the 1 over 20 to the other side of the equation. So the equation become 1 over di equals 1 over 25 centimeters minus 1 over 30 centimeters. We just use the denominators as LCD because um, it is diffi quite difficult to determine the LCD. Divide the denominator by 25 centimeters and by 30 centimeters. We obtain 30 centimeters minus 25 centimeters. Then multiply the denominator 25 centimeters times 30 centimeters equals 750 centimeters square. Get the difference of the, the numerator. We obtain 5 centimeters. 1 over di equals 5 centimeters divided by 750. Cross multiply or flip the equation. Di equals 750 centimeters square divided by 5 centimeters. Di is 150 centimeters. Solve for the magnification. M equals negative di over do. Substituting the values, negative 150 centimeters by 30 centimeters equals negative 5. Cancel the cm unit. So the magnification is equal to negative 5. 
we expected that the image is inverted because the magnification is negative. We used again the magnification equation to find the image height. M equals HI over HO. We derived the magnification equation. HI equals the product of magnification and the object's height HO. Multiply negative 5 by 10 centimeters. The height of the image is negative 50 centimeters. The mirror used is a concave mirror with a radius 50 centimeters in which this is also the distance from the vertex to the center of the mirror and the focal length is 25 centimeters. Since the object distance is 30 centimeters, it follows that the object is placed between the focus and the center of the concave mirror. The distance of the image from the mirror is 150 centimeters. Based on ray diagram, the image must be located beyond the center of the mirror. In this case, the image is located beyond the center of the mirror because our calculated image distance is 150 centimeters. It is positive, therefore, the image is real. The orientation is inverted because the height and magnification of the image is negative. Again, our, our answer conforms with the concepts in ray diagram. So let's try the third problem. An image is twice the size of the object when viewed in front of a mirror. What is the focal length and the magnification of the mirror? How far the image is from the mirror if the object is placed 10 centimeters from the mirror? What type of mirror is used? Draw the ray diagram. The given are the object distance and the image size is related to object size. That is, the image size is twice the size of the object. The required quantities are the focal length, magnification, and the image distance. In the third problem, we cannot use the mirror equation to calculate for the focal length because the image distance is not given. We have two unknown quantities here, the focal length and the image distance. So we must use other ways to solve this kind of problem. Uh, we try to use the relationship of the size of the image with that of the object size and use the magnification equation instead. Magnification is equal to HI over HO. In the given, it is stated that the image size is equal to twice the size of the object. You substitute this relationship in, in the magnification equation. That is, magnification is equal to 2 HO over HO. Cancel the quantity HO, so the magnification of the mirror is 2. After finding the magnification, we compute for the image distance. We derive the equation from magnification equation and multiply negative 1 to both sides of the equation. So di equals the product of magnification and object distance. Substituting the values negative 2 multiplied by 10 centimeters. The answer is di is negative 20 centimeters. Then solving for the focal length, 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di. 1 over the object distance 10 centimeters plus 1 over di, negative 20 centimeters. The LCD is 20 centimeters. 20 centimeters divided by 10 centimeters times 1 equals 2 and 20 centimeters Divide by negative 20 is negative 1. Times 1 is negative 1. So 1 over focal length equals 1 over 20 centimeters. Cross multiply, so the focal length is 20 centimeters. The mirror use is concave mirror because the image of the object is magnified. The image is twice the size of the object as stated in the problem. Only concave mirror can produce enlarged image of the object. Then draw the ray diagram. The focal length is 20 cm and the object distance is 10 cm. The object is between the focus and the mirror. The image is virtual because the image distance is negative 20 cm. A virtual image is found at the back or behind the mirror. The magnification is positive too, so the image is upright image. In the ray diagram, when the object is placed between the focus and the mirror, the image must be located behind the mirror, upright, bigger than the object, and virtual image. For your practice, please solve the problems that follow. A 4 cm tall light bulb is placed 35 cm from a convex mirror, having a focal length of 15 cm. 
determine the image size and the image distance. If an object is 8 cm from a lens and produces an image 4 cm from the lens, what is the lens magnification? Calculate the image height or the image size if the object size is 5 cm tall. We hope you have a better understanding of how to use the mirror equation, the lens equation, and the magnification equation to solve problems related to optics and relate these equations to rate diagram. Thank you for watching.